creepy. Happy Diwali. Happy Halloween. Happy Day of the Dead, otherwise known as Dia de los Muertos. Hello, I'm your host, Christian Lafay. And I'm your host, Brian Oliveira. And welcome to Ra Ra News. Still searching for that title, so live studio audience, please comment, like, share, tell us what you think for a name. So, Rara is global, and to keep things fun, we invite you to share your holiday with us wherever you are in the world. Post, share, comment, and put your city on the map. Tell us what holiday you want to experience in AR and VR. Today we're taking a deep dive into Finland and Magic Leap and seeing how those are connected. We're going to be taking a look at VR cafes and digging into foveated rendering. Foveated rendering. Foveated rendering. Thank you. Oh, cool. We also have some awesome stuff coming up, so please stick around. Stick around. In the news, so the Windows 10 VR headset releases at $299. Don't have a release date yet, but keep your fingers crossed for soon. Windows partners are optimizing Windows 10 VR capabilities and putting out virtual reality headsets equipped with inside-out tracking sensors as opposed to Oculus Rift and HTC Vive's external cameras and laser systems. Not much more information has been published though, so we'll have to wait and see what's coming next, but trust us, we're definitely excited. Now let's take a leap into Finland. Magic Leap registered a company in Helsinki with CFO Scott Henry as the chairman of the board. Former Nokia talent Shalinder Sidu, VP of software at Magic Leaps, also spent a year in Finland leading the development of the software for Nokia's Linux smartphones. Yannick Pellet, Magic Leaps VP in charge of software and user experience, spent time in Helsinki as Nokia's senior director of Migo Devices, an open source Linux based software OS for smartphones. With Finland seemingly offering scalable talent, it makes sense that the Fort Lauderdale-based company would be opening a working space in the area. HTC gets into the cafe business as it plans to open by VR cafes. Recently, HTC opened a VR cafe in Shenzhen and currently has opened HTC-branded VR cafes in Beijing and Taipei. HTC plans to roll out more VR cafes in China next year. The cafes offer customers headsets and pods to immerse themselves in gaming. As well, HTC has been looking at ways to get headsets and VR awareness to more consumers as it recently signed a deal with Chinese software firm called Shenhuang. Shenhuang provides software to gaming cafes. In line with their foray into cafe culture, HTC also launched a content management platform called Viveport Arcade. It allows arcade owners to manage their VR content and gives HTC the full package to dominate in shaping the future of social coffee interactions. Yes, it does. <laughs> Google acquired eye tracking company iFluence, which builds eye tracking technology for VR headsets, and with it signals that the Pixel and Daydream Maker is focusing in on VR hardware. So for practical use cases, I think users can expect more naturalistic and precision-based implementations in VR motion and tracking. But to further break down the details of what actually happens to make this technology work for your eyes, let's talk about foveated rendering. Hi there, I'm Samuel Swords, and I'm here to talk to you about foveated rendering. So what is foveated rendering? Foveated rendering is a digital media processing technique in which the image resolution or amount of detail varies across the image according to one or more fixation points. A fixation point indicates the highest resolution region of the image and corresponds to the center of the eye's retina, the fovea. The location of a fixation point may be specified in many ways. For example, when viewing an image on a computer monitor, one may specify its fixation using a pointing system, like a computer mouse. Eye trackers, which precisely measure the eye's position and movements, are also commonly used to determine fixation points in perception experiments. When the display is manipulated with the use of an eye tracker, this is known as a gaze contingent display. Fixations may also be determined automatically using computers' algorithms. Some common applications of foveated imaging include imaging sensor hardware and image compression. Foveated imaging is also commonly referred to as space variant imaging or gaze contingent imaging. Without taking anatomy and physiology or ample time in a computer science class, this is about as plain speak about the eye tracking technology as you're going to get here. And now, culture and enter- Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. 
And now culture and entertainment. Culture and entertainment. Yes. So we're putting the spotlight on Finland. It's buzzing with high-tech skills and startups. Who doesn't love naked mud wrestling, a cleansing hot sauna, and then eating some yummy slow-cooked elk steak and mashed potatoes? Mm. These are just some of the nature-loving delights Finnish folks have at their pleasure. Another is tech talent. Nokia, well, once a paper company morphed into a mobile telecom, now has a habit for cultivating VR AR talent. Nearly 300,000 Finns actually make tech their profession. Other notable technology companies include Kiodesk, Envo, Boom Lagoon, Smart, Valky, Mendor, Playraven, and many more. Some other fun facts include talented nature photographers, home to an 18th century sea fortress called Sumolinia, and has a population of a little under 5.5 million people. And if that's not reason enough to talk about Finland, you can take a trip to Northern Lapland and check out reindeer in real life. Thank you so much everyone for watching today. Please subscribe, comment, like below if you feel so inclined. And tune in next week to learn more about VR, AR, MR slang, and new tech terms, along with more industry interviews from makers in our play space. And please don't miss out on our linguistic segment, Speaking and Writing in Unity, and what to know about coding for VR, AR, and MR sector. Plus, we're going to be exploring into Peter Jackson's Wado Workshop to find out what's going on in New Zealand. And tune in to celebrate holidays around the world, telling us which holiday you want to experience in VR and AR. Thank you.